In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite little concepts. This route combination has been effective in Madden 22, uh, or in Madden for years, and it's back in Madden 22 from the bunch tied in. If you're not uh, subscribed to the channel yet, I want to encourage you to do that. It's completely free. Uh, my name is Cody, and my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you, hit that subscribe button. Again, it's completely free. We're releasing free offensive and defensive full eBooks to uh, those of you that have signed up for our text message membership. You'll notice in the top left, there's a sign that says text me and then my cell phone number. If you want to sign up for our text message membership, again, it's completely free. All you have to do is pull your cell phone out right now and text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. And what I'll do is I'll respond to you with a link to my Madden 22 text message membership playlist where we're gonna be uploading every single week a uh, new offensive de offensive guide or a new defensive guide. So make sure that you're joined to that. Again, very easy way to do it. You can literally do it in under five seconds. Text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Now the play we're gonna be going over in this video is play curl flat corner. This play has been good uh, every year in Madden, especially this year. And we're gonna break it down for you real simple. We're in the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook. I think Seattle has the best gun bunch in the game. Combination of bunch and bunch tight end. So let's go over curl flat corner. So really simple here, honestly. Um, but I want to really showcase a very specific route here. And to do this, I'm going to put hard flats out on the field. So you see here I have hard flats uh, to both of my side sidelines. And I'm going to put the square receiver on an out. I'm going to put the circle receiver on a, uh, a vertical, maybe. If I can do it, I don't know why he's not adjusting. Anyway, circles on a vertical. And then I'm going to take the X uh, receiver and I'm going to put him on a five yard in route. And then I'm going to put the R1 on an option route. Okay, I'm going to put the R1 on an option route. Okay. So when I motion square to the outside, I want you to really pay attention to his route. I'm going to snap just before he sets. And what I'm going to do here is, and I, I kind of butchered the throw, but what I'm going to do is as soon as he cuts to the outside, as long as he has outside leverage, this is something that I was doing a lot in Madden 22 that, or in Madden 21 that really gave me a lot of success at the Madden Classic and something that I think is going to be really good in Madden 22. So watch this little out route. Look how quick this route cuts. Um, and Evans is kind of butchering the route a little bit. He's not doing what I want him to do. They normally cut a little bit quicker than that. Um, and you don't have to motion him all the way out. Sometimes it's actually better if you don't in this year's game. Last year's game, you needed to get him all the way out. But let me just show this real quick. So again, just motion him all the way outside. If he does this little thing, watch him just, I don't know. Oh, he's on a curl for whatever reason because this game's being weird. I'm telling you, the, the hot route, hot routing in this year's game is so weird uh, to me. Like the players don't do what you tell them to do. And I, I'm like not used to it at all yet. So I'm putting him on out, as you see, he's on an out route. Um, and I'm just gonna motion, I'm just gonna snap him at the numbers, but basically you just snap him and watch this out. See how you can pass it that to the outside, even against a hard flat, because he has outside leverage, outside positioning uh, more importantly. And the reason why I like this is because let's say that you get a match coverage. So I'm gonna put cover four quarters on the field. I'm gonna put those same adjustments on the field. And you see here, this is our play art. And I'm just gonna motion him out and I want to show you what happens. Against match coverage, the circle receiver is going to be a one play touchdown every single time against cover four quarters. Cover four quarters is the most popular way that people are going to play match defense in Madden 22. And so that being said, not only is that going to be an effective route, but watch the route to triangle. You're going to see that the triangle receiver is going to glitch out match coverage as well. And it's going to be very successful so that's why i like to use the out route corner route street concept because it not only beats every other coverage in the game but also beats the match defense that i think is the harder defense of the of the many to throw corner routes match defense was literally invented to try to stop things like corner routes and so that is why you know we want to do it this way so now I'm gonna just go to a traditional cover three, uh, kind of Mabel coverage. And I wanna show you the second read on this, which is the triangle receiver. So this triangle receiver, um, you're gonna see in, in this game, 
practice mode is a little bit glitchy. I will say this. Um, practice. I have not experienced um, a more different way in terms of the way the cover three plays in practice mode versus the real game. But what you're going to see happen is this cover three typically um, will basically just essentially get pulled by the vertical and then you'll be able to throw a triangle. So let me show you again. And if I run this enough times, you will see it. And that's what we're looking for. And that's about 99.9% .9 of the time that's going to happen. So in last year's game, we wanted to smart route those routes because we wanted them to break quicker so that the cover three wouldn't break on it and they'd have more room to get open against zone drops. In this year's game, I personally like to leave them on their default route. And then if I need to check it down, I can always check it down to the tight end maybe a little earlier than I did right there, or I can check it down to the back on the option route. Now, one little pro tip against this cover three is, is another little thing that you can do to help this is to put circle on a fade. If you put them on a fade, um, it's going to pretty much guarantee that they're going to go vertical more so. So you see here he's on a fade. And if not, um, this is something I'm still trying to kind of get the hang of. But what you're going to see is the triangle receiver is going to have vertical leverage on the cover three third. Now, again, like I said, I'm trying, I'm still trying to get some reps with this. Um, this is a really good route combination, but watch this triangle receiver. I've had a couple touchdowns on this. I'm just going to lob it straight up field and Brady doesn't throw it where I want him to throw it at all. But what I want is like that vertical streak type thing. And, you know, again, Brady, you know, kind of, and if they, sh what's interesting this year is how, um, shading effects. So if I shade over top. Um, what you should see is you should see that that cover three is now going to play a little bit differently. You're going to see, see how he goes vertical and he doesn't come back to the corner. So that's just something you have to really kind of uh, look at whenever you're running this play. I want to give you another way to run this play um, that is also really, really good. Uh, and that is a simply, very simple. All we're going to do is streak, streak X or square. And then we're going to do the same backside concept. Okay. And watch what happens on this play. You're going to see that triangle gets a little bit better separation against cover three, a little bit more consistent separation um, against the cover three. So, you know, that's something if you're really struggling to be cover three, which cover three, I think, is honestly um, the best defense that I've seen at the start of the year. We're going to go over man coverage here in just a second. Again, I just wanted you to look at this. But again, look at triangle. Just pass lead that to the left. As you can see, it's beating the cover three. Now, you might be asking, what about man coverage? Well, first things first, I want you to notice that you get an immediate tell that there's going to be man coverage. And this is really why I like to motion this out route. Watch the out route against man coverage. You're going to see that he's just going to cut. And on his cut, this year's game, five-yard out routes are money. And I mean money against man-to-man -man coverage. A receiver on a five-yard in or a five-yard out really does a good job at beating man. Look at him again here, and you're going to see he's glitching man coverage for a one-play score, um, even though he didn't even he didn't make his cut. Even though he was on an out route, um, you know, they just kind of win man coverage all the time, uh, at least from what I'm seeing. These ends, uh, not a drag. And we're going to go back to drags in another video, but these little five-yard motion snapped outs, look at that thing just cook man coverage to the outside. Real simple and real effective. So you have that quick out against man, but you also have some other things that you can hit against man as well. And one of my favorite man beaters in this year's game is this option route. Watch this thing just roast man coverage to the right side. They're going to have to use her on both sides on the outside. So wherever their user is not, that's where obviously you're going to want to throw and work that side. Again, like I said, five yard outs and five yard ins. You're going to see that tight end route is really consistent against man coverage. It's really good against the man blitz. It's also really good against the man bump. So very, very good route. And then the last route that I want to go over against man uh, today is I want to go over this corner route. And what you're going to see here is this corner route um, most of the time will beat man to man. Most of the time. What I would say most time would say probably 80% of the time. The only time that he doesn't beat man is if he gets like an, if the, if the defender gets an incredible press animation um, is like the only time. But you're going to see here that, you know, he right there he didn't beat man. Got a good press animation. Most of the time in this year's game, 
that route is going to kill man coverage, especially if that's where your best receiver is on your roster. As you can see, I've got Godwin there with that slot matic ability. And if you take a look here, there he beats man coverage, and we get a huge, huge gain. So this is a really good play for cover um, for cover three, for cover four quarters. And then I haven't shown it yet against cover two. I want to do that just real quickly here. So against cover two or Tampa two, you're going to see here that the triangle receiver, this is one of my favorite ways to beat cover two. Cover two will never be able to stop this, at least the way it's designed in the game right now, as you saw right there. And then real quick on cover four, I just wanted to give you, again, cover four and cover three play very similarly this year. But I want you to see this triangle receiver. And what you're going to see out of this cover four, this is where you have to really kind of get some reps, in my opinion. Um, again, cover four drop in particular. But what you're going to see against cover four drop in particular, number one, your quick out is going to be open. But your corner route, just pass lead that to the left. I find that the cover four is actually a little bit more likely to bail than the cover three. Okay, the cover four zone really doesn't, I don't understand why, because it has an inside quarter. So you would think that it would, you know, kind of stay where it is, but it doesn't. It almost always bails. I've never really had the quarter play this, um, as you see. Now right there, if that quarter gets underneath it, which again, this is very rare. It, it really is very rare that that happens, um, that that quarter is going to get underneath it. If the quarter gets underneath it, then I would just check it down. Obviously, there are some windows that you could hit. You could pass lead it up. There's some things you could do. But um, you'll see right here, see how he gets underneath the route? That's your, kind of your cue. Okay, maybe I need to check it down or whatever. And again, the way zone works in this game is so random, to be honest. Um, there's not necessarily an easy way to explain why he's done, why he did that, because it's literally the same route concept that I was just running. Um, and, you know, it might just have to do with me kind of getting this guy out a little bit more. But you see right here, and then I'm just going to pass lead up. And I've had a lot of success. Like, if I see something like that, I've not had a whole lot of success. I'm not sure this year's game is the type of game that you want to use the lob pass um, as a predominant feature, at least right now. Um, because the lob pass, to me, there's not enough zip on the ball. So you see you get over the top. So just pass lead that over the top. And then as you see there, the ball can get over that receiver or uh, over that corner. So cover four drop, that's kind of the deal. Uh, I will say that, you know, cover four and cover three to me are definitely better coverages. Um, and really what I would also say in this year's game is I think you're going to see a lot of people, um, instead of using zone drops, what they're going to do is they're just going to uh, basically rely on these outside quarters. But if you can learn how to pass lead, that's what's going to happen. When you get the player, um, when you get the defensive back really turned around, like you see that I'm getting him in here, this is where it's going to really come come to fruition for your offense because what you're going to get is you're going to get this little glitch right off the rip he's underneath i'm pass leading up now against cover three it's a little different but you see the idea of what could happen so uh, my point is simply if the out route's there take it if not then go to the corner if that's not there go to the tight end and then go to the back um, very good play curl flat corner thanks for watching this video if you want to learn uh, or if you want to receive access to my free offensive and defensive guides that I'm releasing every single week in Madden 22, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys on stream. I stream pretty much every day. Uh, so just basically subscribe, turn on notifications. Normally we go live around um, 7 o'clock Eastern time. So if you want to come by, catch the stream. That's the best way to get in touch with me, chat on the stream. We're streaming a lot of Madden 22 right now and a lot of content coming your way. Thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. And again, if you want to sign up for those free schemes, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900.